Okay, so here I got some of my um, base for my Maleficent horns. I got some McDonald's cups, measuring tape, which didn't really actually use properly, hot glue gun, and some other random stuff found in the house. That would be a type of, I think it's a wrapping paper pole thing. <laughs> Not quite sure, it might be a paper towel. Anyways, I cut it in half at an angle, and now I'm hot gluing it to those McDonald's cups. Don't ask me what size they are, they were not mine. I happened to find them in my sibling's bedroom. So here I am hot gluing them to each other, and at the angle, because Maleficent's horns aren't straight up, they're at a slight angle. There's that. Then I decide to use, I think this is masking tape, I'm not quite sure, just tape in general, because hot glue up doesn't always stay for me. Decided to add some tape, and that also helps with the form to give it to more, you know, oomph. So you got the skeletal part, then this is kind of like the muscle to it, before we add on the skin. Alright, I got those done. Now I'm getting Elmer's glue, just, you know, school glue, mixed it in some warm water, and I'm going to like paper mache. Oh, and that's a toilet paper roll thing. That's going to be the very top of it to kind of curve it the other way. And so taping that on too while my glue mixes in with the warm water. More tape, of course. And here I am starting off with some paper brown bags that I got from the grocery store. One of those that still uses paper bags as an option. And it was really great because the paper bags make it really sturdy, very strong compared to having a base of maybe just newspaper. I got the base of my idea for these Maleficent horns from a YouTube video that I watched. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box below of the girl's video. And this project took me a few days, I possibly a few weeks actually, I don't really recall. Um, but overall the product came out really well. Alrighty, and so that just kind of dried up a bit, all nice and done. The next day or so, it's all dry and now I'm painting it black. I decided to use paint first just to kind of see how it went before I did fabric. I originally wasn't planning on doing the fabric, but I decided, what the heck, let's go for it, go all the way. So I'm just showing you that I did paint it black and then just so you can kind of see what it would originally look like. I just used acrylic paint that you can get at any store, I believe, at, you can get it for like 97 cents or something. And there they are, all dry and perfect, perfectly done. You can still see there's some spots, but like I said, I put fabric on over later. Here, I got a, I believe it's called a ski cap, I'm not quite sure, a beanie type thing. I turned it inside out because it was colored red on the <laughs> outside so I flipped it inside out and now I am sewing these McDonald cup horns to this beanie thing um, I found the beanie once again another thing that I found at home so I decided to sew it on see how that worked it actually worked pretty well uh, I personally would in the future if I ever do this again would not want to use this 
particular hat, I'd prefer to use maybe a more full-on cover hat because it just, it, it holds pretty well, but not as well as I'd like. And here's the finished product. You can see that I now have the fabric on it. So I did not record that because I wasn't quite sure if I was going to put it on and then I just went for it and yeah, didn't record it. But here I am putting on the purple ribbon. And overall the costume came out very well. Um, the cape part itself was about $7. Found it at a liquidation store. I paid for the green face paint and then I got my contacts at Pinky Paradise. So over, overall, you could say I spent around $20 at the most for this costume. And here are photos of the finished product in full costume and makeup. Thanks for watching. In the words of Captain Jack Pell, it's time for you to sail on.